Hey guys, even here, so this video we have a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates but we are starting this video with the Vancouver Pro Show official list for the Open Division and as you can see Antoine Vaillant is doing this show, it is done, it is confirmed, he is gonna compete against Ian Valier and I'm pretty sure Antoine is gonna make the top 5. <laughs> now as far as beating Ian Valier and winning this show, wow, that's gonna be, that's gonna be tough but it's gonna be very very interesting. As you can see, there is only five guys competing in this show, four of them are Canadians and one of them is from Mexico. The thing is, Canada has these certain uh, traveling restrictions, so not anybody can get into Canada, that's why there is so few competitors here. But at least Anton is doing it now, if he didn't do it, there would be only four competitors. And that would be silly, that would be funny, that shouldn't even be a Mr. Olympia qualifier. Even like this, only 5 competitors, maybe this show should have happened somewhere else, like in America, you know, not in Canada. Maybe there shouldn't be pro shows in Canada if the situation is the way it is, because I don't know man, I mean you get Mr. Olympia qualification by, you know, competing against 3 guys, 4 guys, and they are all Canadians, so I don't know. Anyways, it's gonna be very exciting seeing Antoine against Ian. Anton also made a post, he confirmed it on his social media, finally, for some reason he kept this under wraps, he didn't want to say to the public that he's prepping for the show, uh, he made this post, uh, he looks great in this photo, really flat, really flat as you can see, he's so sucked in, but I think he's gonna bring the best condition that he ever brought. I'm gonna show you more of his physique in a moment, but he also says, I'm getting ready for this weekend, does that make me a weekend warrior? So he finally made an official statement, yes, he confirmed that he's doing one cover pro show, even though it was quite obvious that he was doing it, if you watched my previous video, it was pretty clear, right? But still, now we know for sure, he confirmed it. So what does he look like right now? You know that his legs are ridiculous, they are probably better legs than Ian's. What the problem is, is his upper body, you know, the fullness of his upper body, the roundness, which is something Ian absolutely does have, but Anton, you know, he's kind of flat even when he's really full, he just has, you know, weaker upper body, he's not that big, that full and that round, but he does have really classic looking lines, I look at his physique, I mean, this is classic physique with more muscle, he might be over the weight cap, but he has those classic lines, it just looks so beautiful, it flows so well, and that's that's what makes this show so exciting, it's gonna be mass versus aesthetics, mass monster versus a classic bodybuilder, symmetry, proportions, balance, small waist, small wrists, pretty shape, aesthetics, classic look, those things are really valuable, they're definitely gonna help Antoine's case, but are they gonna be enough against uh, this, <laughs> against this freak, against this monster? I mean, look at him here, this is actually 3 years ago, so he's even bigger and freakier and he's gonna be definitely more conditioned now. So, <laughs> I'm trying to create some kind of hype, some kind of rivalry here, and it's definitely gonna be an interesting comparison, but let's be real here, Ian is gonna destroy Anton, but I'm still excited to see this happen. If you guys enjoy my content and you wanna support my channel, you can do that by trying Vintage Braun. It's a high quality and great tasting protein powder by the Old School Labs, you can choose your flavors, there are so many, and it is actually beef isolate, egg white and whey isolate protein, so it's a great chain of amino acids and uh, it just tastes amazing really, so guys if you wanna try it, you can just click on the link in the description of this video, and if you wanna save some money, you can use the code EVAN for a 12% discount. Alright, next we have an update on the Bob Chicarillo vs Fuad Abiyad situation. In the most recent episode of Fuad's podcast, he addressed this situation, so let me show you guys what Fuad had to say. I wanted to cover something real quick. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if I should or not, but I, I just want to cover it real quick. So yesterday, uh, Bob Chicarillo put a video out and was upset at some comments I made at the last, at the live podcast we did. Uh, the comments I made were that we didn't really have an athlete's rep and the athlete's rep really didn't do much for the bodybuilders. So Bob took exception to that and was pretty upset because I think he has done some things. So I guess I just want to apologize uh, to Bob publicly for saying that he did nothing. I'm sure he's done something. He listed off a few things he's done. Um, that being said, um, I do think more can be done. 
So I, I apologized. I had a phone call with Bob and I apologized to him in person uh, or on the phone, whatever. And I said to him, you know, I, I apologize for offending you. I apologize for making my comments uh, too drastic, but I do think more can be done. Um, All right. So there you go. Basically, Fuad apologized to Bob. He made a public apology. He also apologized to Bob over the phone. And what Fuad said is he apologizes for being too drastic, for uh, calling Bob out the way he did. But, you know, he doesn't say that he was wrong, really, not necessarily. He says Bob named a few things that he has done. And Fuad says, I'm sure he has done something. <laughs> and he adds that he thinks more can be done. So this is probably the way that he should have said this originally. The way he said it now didn't really offend anybody, didn't really offend Bob, but he was honest. And if you guys are interested what else Fuad had to say and what the other guys on the podcast had to say about this, you can watch his podcast, but they go in line, they talk about what else can be done, what things are not being done by the athletes rep and should be done. Uh, they talk about this in line, they made some really good points, and this is actually probably going to be even worse for Bob. If Bob ignored what Fuad said in first place, it will probably just, you know, be over with that. But now, everybody is trying to expose Bob for the things that he is not doing so by making these response videos bob is sort of digging his own grave in terms of staying the athlete's rep uh, there are so many pro bodybuilders that had no idea that he is actually representing them and so on and so forth you can watch the podcast uh, so food and the other guys made some really good points I expected Fuad to either ignore this whole thing or to go ballistic, to really go after Bob. And maybe younger, juiced up Fuad would do something like that. But this new businessman Fuad decided to take a different route to go politically correct about this whole situation. So once again, guys, if you want to check out what else he had to say, go ahead on Fuad Abiyat channel and see what him and the other guys had to say about this. All right, next we have a physique update of Good Vito. And this guy, look at the size of this freaking guy right here. He looks like he can be top six at the Mr. Olympia, honestly. I'm really excited to see him finally on the stage in NPC when he tries to win his pro card. He's gonna win it with ease. And I'm really curious to see him finally at his pro debut. If you guys remember, before Nick Walker turned pro, everybody was like, why is he not a pro? Look at this guy. He looks so good. He can do really well in the pro ranks. And that's exactly what happened. You know, Nick Walker turned pro. He did his first pro show. And the next couple of shows, he won and placed fifth at the Mr. Olympia. And I think when somebody has so much potential, everybody can see it, basically. And I think it is the same thing with Good Vita here. And he decided to actually switch from IABB to MPC and then to the IABB Pro League, of course. And I think he's going to do really well. In this most recent physique update, he looks so massive, so round, so complete. I mean, the legs are looking massive and the waist, the waist is so tiny. It just looks so beautiful, so aesthetic, but still he's so massive. He has such a full chest, full lats, uh, big arms. Take a look at this, for example. It's just a video of himself walking on the beach, but look at this unit. I mean, he looks like a freaking hawk from behind. Look at the back, look at the traps, look at the legs. This is a proper mass monster and he's so young as well. So the future is bright for this guy. If everything goes well, he is going to be a top Olympian. I don't even want to say one day. I prefer to say soon, sometime soon, in a year or two, three I mean, it's a bold statement, in a way, because we haven't really seen him compared to the other guys on stage. We don't know how conditioned he will be, we don't know how will he fare when he stands next to them. But I think it is pretty obvious, this is not rocket science. You don't see guys looking like this in their locker rooms very often. You see updates of bodybuilders all the time, and very few of them look this impressive. So, I don't know, we'll see when he finally steps on stage, but right now he looks really really good what do you guys think about good vito i know i already talked about quinton area but i have to show you this physique update as well it's basically in the same spot same lighting uh, it's a new video so he's a little bit leaner the lighting might be a little bit different but i was so impressed when i saw this i thought this is mr olympia material and i thought also this might be my favorite physique right now in open bodybuilding one of the 
So when you look at like Nick Walker, he does look freaky, but would you really like to look like that? Most of you wouldn't. And when you look at this, I'm sure many of you would love to look like this. And I personally would love to have this kind of genetics, to have this body right now. I would switch with this guy right now. If it was possible, I would take this body right now without thinking. This looks absolutely amazing. And this is Mr. Olympia material, if you guys ask me. Now, very, very small waist, very aesthetic looking physique, but really dominant limbs, legs and arms. Uh, back needs improving and some other body parts, but he's gonna be basically unbeatable in a couple of years, I believe. He's definitely gonna be one of the top guys uh, when the older guys retire finally. Guys like Big Remy, like Bonek, like Hadi, like Brandon. I mean, Quinton is, I think he's below 30, so he's very young. And the potential that he has, wow. I think in a couple of years, he might, if everything goes well, if he keeps progressing the way he's progressing, if nothing goes bad, if everything goes perfect, in ideal world, he's going to be the Mr. Olympia. I can see that. He looks so amazing, at least to me. I don't know if you guys share the same opinion. I just had to share this with you guys because I'm so amazed with this physique. And I have to say, this is, in my opinion, Mr. Olympia material. What about this guy though? Is he gonna finally fulfill his potential? Everybody has been talking about Regan as the future Mr. Olympia and we got a new physique update of him, just a posing video. As you can see Milos Sharcher, his coach, says that they are only in second year right now and they're about to start a third year, which means there is fourth, fifth and sixth gear. And what does this mean? I mean, they started the prep, so this can only mean one thing. I mean, it's not food, it's not cardio, it's not training, it's actual gear that he's talking about. So there is probably a lot more room for them to use more stuff. And as the show approaches, he's going to look more and more impressive. But they built this kind of mass with a little gear, hopefully. That's what I gather from what Milos says. And if that's the truth, then Regan is actually going to get a lot more impressive as the months go on, as the Mr. Olympia approaches. And the question is, how well is he going to do this year? He is qualified. He is prepping for the Olympia. Can he crack the top 10? If he does that, that's a huge success. Can he do it though? Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. I'd say maybe. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. Oh, and I almost forgot, for the fans of Fuad Abiyad's podcast, uh, Paul Lazon finally did that nipple piercing that he was supposed to do for like a year after he lost that bet. And you can watch the video of himself doing this on Fuad's Instagram. I watched this, I died laughing, guys, <laughs> so it was hilarious. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and don't forget to check out the Old School Labs website. There is a link below. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.